Now, Busia Governor Suspita Ojamong spent two nights in a police cell pending determination of his bail application. Ojamong became the first sitting governor to face corruption charges. The county chief was accused of conspiracy to defraud the county government of 8 million shillings, engaging in projects without proper planning and abuse of office. The governor presented himself to the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, but ended up being detained. The decision to lock him up followed a long-day court appearance where he denied the charges. He was remanded alongside other accused persons at the Anti-Corruption Commission police cells until today where his bail application will be determined. Timothy Oteno is on this story and now joins us from Integrity Center. Timothy, good morning. The bail application is set to be determined. Has the process started? Well, not yet, Ashley. That particular determination will be made this afternoon from 2 p.m. before uh, the Anti-Corruption Court uh, led by the Chief Magistrate Douglas Ogoti. So perhaps this afternoon is when the governor will find out whether he's going to be spending the third night and possibly the entire weekend behind bars or he will be released on bond or bail uh, pending, of course, uh, the progress of this particular case that was initiated by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission back in 2016. They delivered a report to uh, the Director of Public Prosecution, Nordin Haji, who found uh, sufficient evidence to initiate investigations uh, towards the governor and nine others, including the Busia County Chief Finance Officer and one of the county executives, as well as an official from the National Treasury. The governor being accused of, uh, among at least four charges, key among them being abuse of office, failure to uh, follow procurement procedures, as well as mismanagement of public funds, 8 million shillings at stake here, accused of unilaterally signing a memorandum of understanding to grant a company known as Madam R Enterprise, 8 million shillings that was supposed to be paid in two batches of 4 million each. But the controversy coming in that Madam R, apparently there is a copy company with the same name known as Madam R Limited. And there's Madam R Enterprises. So that questionable a transaction worth 8 million shillings is what is at stake. Ojamon continues to be held in police custody. Earlier on, they had argued through his lawyer, CIA Senator James Orengo, that he needs to be released, that uh, the law or the presumption that one is presumed innocent until proven guilty needs to be considered by the court and that the fact that he's a sitting governor, he may, he is not likely to leave the country anytime soon. Uh, of course, the prosecution, led by Alexandra Muteti, who is spearheading and leading the onslaught, legal onslaught, might I add, against the governor, insisting that the governor, based on his position as a county boss, was highly likely to influence the case because some of the key witnesses and possible key witnesses in this particular matter are junior staff who work under the county governor. And based on that alone, the prosecution was arguing that the governor and nine others m may likely influence the outcome of the investigations if they were released. Douglas Okoti had both sides of uh, this particular argument. And this afternoon at 2 p.m., he will decide whether Sospita or Jama or Jamong will remain in custody for the remainder of the weekend, or indeed he will be released, Ashley. Many thanks, Timothy Ucheno. Of course, we are following up on this story and we will uh, tell you when it happens if the bail application will be determined for the